Finally here on Most Buffalo, you've probably heard the saying by now, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, in this case, would-be garbage served as the perfect canvas. But unless you really look up close or see the inspiration hanging next to it on the walls, you might not know what lies beneath these layers of paint. You don't find them that much anymore, but styrofoam containers that would have meat or vegetables in them, and so I started using those as painting palettes when I was doing much bigger paintings of landscapes and still lifes. Cheap, easy, right in front of you. Right? right. Barbara Baird had stacks of makeshift paint palettes, but hesitated to toss them out. They were pretty, and I didn't know what I was going to do with them, and then I had a stack of them, and I thought, well, let's cut them up, make little styrofoam tiles, and then put them together in small mosaic paintings. Barbara has been creating art since she was a kid. She went to art school, taught art, owned a framing business, and served as a docent at the Albright Knox for 15 years. Safe to say creativity and a passion for art is in her blood. But even though she's not making a living from art anymore, she is making a difference with each of these pieces hanging on the wall. I'm at a stage in my life where I'm secure. I have everything I need but not everyone in our community does. And so I wanted to do something personal about the pandemic. And so I thought, let's have an art show. Barbara made these 100 works of art over the past two years, and they're now on display at Pineapple Company on Allen Street in Buffalo. They're for sale, $40 each, though you can donate more if you'd like. All proceeds will go to Feed More Western New York. I'm very excited to not only sell art off the wall and feed people in Western New York that need it, but also start those creative conversations of how other people can give back and walk away with that piece of art feeling proud that they did something for the community. If you look closely, you'll see other signs of reuse, like the foil from chocolate Easter eggs, newspapers, even paper towels. And on the back of each painting, there is a stamp that lets people know what the art was created on. A lot of effort and love poured into each of these pieces. The opening is tonight from 5 until 9, but the show runs all the way through October. That would be great if by the end of October this wall was empty. Find something you like, buy it, and give to feed more. If you want to check out Barbara's art and works from other artists, you can head to tonight's first Friday gallery walk. Allen will be closed from Delaware to Franklin to make room for a stage with DJ and drag performances, vendors, and of course, a lot of great art. We have more details waiting for you at WGRZ.com. That does it for Most Buffalo. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Channel 2 News, first at 5, starts now.